good morning everyone welcome back to the channel well i'm out here this morning getting ready to target some sheep's head i'm out here one of my favorite places you guys know where it is look how beautiful it is but what i'm gonna do first is i'm gonna target some uh red fish and probably some snook the temperature is warming up so hopefully some of these red fish and snook are feeding so I'm gonna use a swim bait it's like a five inch swim bait and let's see what we get into change location I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some sheep setters fishing check out the docks I'm using my pen slammer 4 3500 this is my St. Croix rod it's a medium fast action and I'm using a let me show you guys bottom sweeper jig I think this is the uh, quarter ounce size uh, bait I'm using is mud crabs so let's go ahead and um, let's see what's out here Okay, first mud crab. Let's see. All right, guys, let's check it out. First drop. Had him. He got off. I had a nice one. He got off. All right, guys. Got my first. What is this? Yeah, first sheep. Real small guy. Too small to keep. There you go, guys. Another one. Ah, oh, he's rubbing against something. There he goes. A little better size. A little better size. He's almost 12. Check it out. It's about 10 and a half. What I did was, um, I went ahead and scraped some of those barnacles and now that I did that they're chewing faster mm, got them got another one another small one Ugh. small guy there you go using my pen spin fisher uh, 3,500. Might have to check out another pylon because I'm catching too many small ones. So, um, let's move ahead and find another location. Alright, guys. Got a nice one here. Yeah, he's a nice one. He's a keeper. Yeah. First keeper. Man, he's a nice one. Fourteen and a half inches. He's a keeper. Let's put him on a stringer. Okay, let's send him back down. I chummed up that water, let's see. Another one. Because a little bit smaller. He's 
about 11. Uh, 10, 11. Uh, another one, guys. This guy might be a keeper, too. Yeah, he's a keeper. He's 12. No, he's 13. Oh, yeah. Come here. Oh, yeah, he's a nice one. All right, check him out. This guy is 15 and a half. You see him? 15 and a half. Another nice one. All right, I had to put a new hook on. He swallowed the whole hook, so I just I just cut my leader and just put on a new hook. Another one. Look at that rod bent. Ooh, he's a fighter. He's a little bit smaller though. <sighs> he's a keeper. Another nice one. Check him out, guys. He's about. Um, at least 12, 13. He is 13 and a half. I'm not going to keep him. I'm going to keep him like probably like 14 or better. Another one. This guy's fighting me pretty nice. He's about 14. Let's see. No, 13. 13 inches. Put him back. Got another one. Another 13. It's another 13. Alright, another one. This guy's this guy's a lot smaller. Yeah, he's smaller. He's a lot smaller. Come here. Okay, everyone, what we're doing is just moving around, looking for a deeper spot. Water is pretty, it's pretty shallow. So I actually see everything uh, underneath the docks and I can see there's nothing there. So we're just gonna keep moving. All right, everyone, you're not going to believe this. I lost my stringer with my two fish. I cannot believe I lost that. I'm trying to see if I see it. This is the last spot I was at. I cannot believe I lost my stringer. Wow. Oh my gosh. Well, that sucks. I left my cooler bag in the car. 
because I was just going to leave the fish on the stringer, keep them fresh that way. And now I don't, I lost it. Wow, I can't believe that. Well, everyone, I lost the two fish. I searched and searched, I, I can't find them. I cannot believe that just happened. Wow. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, back to the drawing board, I guess. I'm gonna just start all over. What sucks is that I'm not gonna have anything uh, to put them on now. See, I came over this way. Man, that sucks. Well, again, guys, I'm so disappointed. I can't believe I lost my fish stringer. I had two nice keepers. I had a 15 and a half inch sheep's head and a 14 and a half. And I don't know how, but the stringer got loose and I lost them. That really sucks. Ugh. I actually caught, I think I threw back um, three keepers, keeper size at least. They're about 13 and a half, 13, 13 and a half. I threw those back because I wanted just to keep uh, 14 inches and better. But um, I don't have nothing now. So, I gotta start all over again. Man, I'm so pissed off. Sheep's head. That's a keeper size. That's a keeper size. That's a nice one. Where I'm going to have to keep the 12 inches, 12, 13 inches, because I lost my other two big ones. So, man, he's a nice one. It's about 14. I bet he's about 14. Whoop! Ow! Man, he got me good. Ow! Damn thing. Come on, guy. Be nice. Yeah. Almost. No, actually, yeah. 14. He's 14 right on. Got another one. Got that redfish. He doesn't have a dot on this end, on this side, but he has one on that side. Cool. Something small. Oh, the sheepy. Yeah, the sheepy. He's too small though.
He's too small. There you go, guys. Small one. This is probably like my eighth sheep sheep's head today. I got action. Man, he's fighting pretty good. He's pulling. There's a sheep. Man, he's pulling hard. And he's not really that big. Man, these guys, man, these guys could fight. They pull hard. Oh, he might be a keeper. Yeah, I think he's a keeper. Yeah, he is. All right, guys, caught another one. He's 13 inches right on. So we're gonna keep him since I lost the other two. I gotta make up for that 15 and a half inch I lost. Small guy. Very small guy. I think he's the smallest today. <laughs> Tiny. Yeah, small guy. Another one. Little eater beady one. It's too small. Man. Those some big ones are gone. Check out guys. Little short guy. See ya. Okay everyone. It's that time. I'm done. I'm pissed. Disappointed. <sighs> well, this morning was pretty good. Um, I caught about six, seven sheep's head. I threw back a couple of keepers, a couple of 13, 13 and a half inches, because I wanted to keep like 14s and better. So I'll, I hooked into a 15 and a half and a 14 and a half, I believe it was. And somehow, I don't know how this happened, but my string got loose and my two keepers floated away. They swam away. So, I, I don't know how the hell that happened. So I came to my regular spot here during low tide. I do pretty good here, but I don't know. Today, I just kept two, uh, two keepers out of this spot. Not too big, like 13, 13 and a half. So um, I threw back a bunch of small ones. But I don't have anything else, guys. Uh, please remember um, to like the video if you enjoyed this video. For those who are new and haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Uh, also hit that notification bell. It'll alert you when I post my next video. So other than that, guys, thank you very much. Tight lines. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.